NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Speaking of long days ahead of you, if you are driving in this morning, it might be a longer commute than usual, Andrew. For sure, especially in the higher terrain areas, so central Vermont into the Northeast Kingdom, that's where we saw a burst of some heavy wet snow, causing some issues on the road still at this point, as well as a lot of power outages, unfortunately. The good news is in the immediate Champlain Valley, we saw some slushiness earlier, but temperatures rising up just a few degrees, so mostly wet roads right now. That's the case looking over in St. Albans right by Taylor Park. You can see traffic flowing just fine. 37 degrees safely above freezing, but some pockets are still close to that freezing mark. So central Vermont right around Montpelier into St. J, parts of the Northeast Kingdom. Still a winter weather advisory for some locally slick travel the next few hours where temperatures are just a little bit cooler. Checking in on those power outages, we have several towns over 1,000. We have 2,500 or so in Barry City, 1,300 for Danville, 1,200 for Woodstock, Vermont. We're getting some reports from National Grid that Essex County, New York, has around 2,000 outages or so as well. 1,000 outages in Hinesburg, 970 there about for Williamstown, and over 800 for Montpelier. So many towns not only dealing with some slick travel, but some power outage concerns. On storm travel, an area of low pressure to our east. This is exiting to the north and east, so we are trending drier the rest of today. Road conditions should be improving in the hours to come, but a remaining area of low pressure to the northwest keeps the chance of a passing snow shower around, especially in the mountains, not only today, but into tomorrow. Mostly dry on storm tracker, a few light rain and snow showers drifting into the Adirondack Park, have some lingering lighter rain showers into the northern Champlain Valley, but mostly dry for central and southern Vermont. Temperatures in the low to mid 30s, so still a few areas of slick travel where that temperature right around the 32 degree mark. Moving forward though, lots of clouds later this morning, but we're mostly dry. And then heading into the afternoon, could see a few sunny breaks, but a few passing snow showers possible as well. We keep the chance for some upslope mountain snow showers around through the day tomorrow. That could bring a light additional dusting to an inch or two across our mountains. But overall for your Tuesday, it's going to be chilly with mostly cloudy skies during the morning and afternoon. Same goes for Wednesday, more clouds than sun expected. Another chilly day, temperatures in the lower 30s, but it does look to stay mainly dry. So that's some good news. Checking in on the five day four Forecast, we're keeping that snow shower chance around again today and tomorrow, mostly for the mountains. And then on Wednesday, chilly and mainly dry. Thursday, rebounding into the low 40s with lots of clouds. And then December begins on Friday, seasonably cold with a few rain showers possible. Lauren?